Okay, so I have been having a really, really big craving today and it is for wingers. Like I want the sticky fingers, the ones that are so delicious. And I was thinking, well, I should just go to there by myself and go get them. And then I was like, you know what? For probably the same price that it would cost, it's like probably like $12 with tax. It's 11 something and probably 12 with tax. Um, I could probably make it for the whole family. So what I went and did, I went to the store and I got french fries because that's part of the meal and I really like that. I got french fries and I got um, Tyson chicken breasts. Let me pull it out of the freezer really quick. So this is the kind of Tyson crispy chicken strips that I got. Um, and I was like, I'll just get a big one for like the whole family, you know, so that we can all have the meal that I want really, really bad. Um, so that and french fries. And then also, I am going to make for you today, I've never done this before, but oh my goodness, everybody has the recipe apparently for um, Winger's Amazing Sauce. So, um, they said you're going to need Frank's Red Hot Original um, Hot Sauce. And you can just get a good look at that. And then basically it's just that, brown sugar and water. And that is all. So I'm going to make it for you. So here is the brown sugar and it calls for one and a half cups. This is a doubled recipe by the way. So normally it's only three fourths cup brown sugar so if you want to make it for a smaller amount of people then just do that. Um, but I don't mind having a little bit extra maybe to put in the fridge. So I'm pretty sure that the secret to this recipe is just a ton of sugar. <laughs> I don't think we realize how sweet that sauce is until we have to make it ourselves. Okay, so next I am just going to be measuring out the hot sauce, the red hot Frank's red hot sauce, and that is going to be six tablespoons. So one. Can you count to six? Say two. Two. One. Three. Four. Five. Almost done. Six. Good job. And then after that, it's actually just four tablespoons of water. goes into the recipe and now all I'm gonna do is just heat it up and stir it and once the sugar is dissolved the sauce is ready and you can just dip your chicken into that sauce and so this is what it looks like it's just getting ready to stir and be cooked are you making it be careful it's gonna get really hot be really careful huh because we don't want to get burned do you like it is that fun? Yeah. Yeah? Aye. Good thing it's not up high yet, huh? Maybe mommy will take over in just a minute. No. It looks yummy. And it smells mm -hmm. just like it. It really does. So okay, I gotta go. Might get dangerous. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's pretty thin, but it it's so delicious. I tried some with actually a couple of tortilla chips just because I wanted to taste it already. Um, so this is about how thick it, it is. I don't know if when it cools down it will get a little bit thicker, but I know Winger's is a little bit thicker than this. So if you want it to be thicker, 
or if you don't mind this, that's fine. But if you want it to be thicker, take a little bit of cornstarch, maybe like a teaspoon with maybe a tiny bit of water. Um, maybe a teaspoon or two of water and just mix that. It has to be cold water with the cornstarch and then just add this, add that to this while it's boiling. While it's kind of a rolling boil, not too hot, but just so it will be able to mix in really well. And that will make it a little bit more thick if you want it to be thicker. Also, they said it has to be on the recipe. It has to be Frank's Red Hot Original if you want it to be the same taste as Winger's. So um, you're welcome to try substitutes if you think anything tastes like this or if you just want to try it anyways. But I was very specific because I'm like, I know my craving right now. And there's no way I'm getting anything besides exactly what I want <laughs> with this. So um, it only takes a very small amount. So I got a kind of a big bottle because I... I thought it said for some reason, I, I didn't know the amount needed, but it's really only a couple tablespoons, so you don't need to get that big of a, a bottle. But this is only $2. So total, for this dinner, I spent around $15, and um, the sauce alone is super cheap. This I could have easily gotten the $1 bottle and then just used some brown sugar that I already had and water and it's super super cheap and really yummy so next we're gonna put it on the chicken so now what I'm doing is I'm just taking the chicken and kind of tossing it into the sauce right here so there's your sticky finger and just make sure it's well coated with this sauce and then we'll go ahead and put that sorry I wasn't even filming there. we'll go ahead and put that onto the plates and get the plates ready for dinner all right, folks, this is the beauty, beauteous food. And I wanted to bring it out here in this beautiful sunshine to just show you how good it looks. And there's plenty of extra sauce. I would recommend putting, dipping it in extra sauce if you want. And ranch tastes so good with it. So make sure to try out this dinner. And also check out the other videos that we have. And <laughs> if you've noticed, I can't even pull the camera away from the food and my mouth is watering. So I really need to go. I've got to eat this food as soon as possible. I've been waiting all day. This is pregnancy craving number. I have no idea because I've been having so many lately, but this is exactly what I want right now. So check this out, try it out. It's really, really, really easy with the sauce. Um, also try out some of our other Easter videos and whatever holiday we're on, really. Just check out our other videos. They're super fun. So I wanted to mention something, and that is that, um, I actually only used half the bag of french fries and half the bag of chicken. So this is like two meals for our little family. We have James who will eat this and Corbin not necessarily, but me and Michael both ate really you know good sized plates of it so it'll be good for two meals so split that in half the $15 and that's what it is for dinner so I just wanted to share that with you